In the last 20 years, the number of children diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder has skyrocketed. The increase means more middle and high school students are regularly taking ADHD medicine. A 15-year study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association now finds a growing number of those students are also misusing their ADHD medication. I am joined now by psychotherapist Dr. Lisa Palmer. Uh, Dr. Le Palmer, thank you so much for being here tonight. Thanks for having me on the show. So obviously a very troubling report. We're talking about one in four children that are reportedly are misusing uh, or abusing their ADHD medication. Kind of first talk us through uh, what that exactly means. How are they misusing it? Well, first of all, this medication became very, very popular in the early 1990s, and it's actually been overprescribed. So a lot of uh, students started using it early on and then became addicted to it later. And so what are we seeing now, this new report that's come out? Because obviously there's a lot going on right now. We're talking about uh, opioid addictions. We're talking about overdoses. We're talking about the infusion of fentanyl in some drugs that people need to be aware of. And we have a shortage of medications, too. A lot of these ADHD medication is actually, uh, you can't find it at pharmacies across the country. So uh, talk to us about this report that just came out and some of the findings where students are being found misusing it. Right, so ADHD medication is typically used for focus. And so, like I said before, that a lot of um, practitioners were even over-prescribing this for focus. And then what happened is over a period of time, people became addicted using it for focus and motivation, but they're also using it even for weight loss, which is not something that a lot of uh, people are talking about, but people are using Adderall and Vyvanse for weight loss. And then what's happened is that this medication has changed brain chemistry, it's changed neurotransmitters in the brain. And so what, what that has resulted in is uh, people turning to illegal drugs, I guess, as a way to improve their motivation. Uh, so they're, they're, you know, prescribing medications uh, for this for a certain purpose, and then ultimately they are um, using drugs illegally to try to self-medicate, which is obviously a really bad thing. So what are some of the consequences of misusing uh, a drug? I mean, what are some of the negative impacts that, that you, uh, as a psychotherapist, are noticing in your patients? I mean, does it increase anxiety? Does it, you know, get you more depressed? Like, what are some of the symptoms that uh, of someone who is misusing ADHD meds uh, can, can experience? Well, obviously addictions is a huge problem. So we have a huge issue with addiction in America and globally right now. And that is a, a huge side effect of misusing prescriptions. And also it has an impact on people's health and wellness. So if you're using and misusing prescriptions and you're thinking, hey, you know, I have a difficult time focusing, I need to turn to Adderall as a way to cope. Well, that difficulty focusing may not be because of um, it may be because of the dopamine imbalance or maybe because you have adrenal fatigue or you have uh, you know a thyroid condition or hormonal imbalance of some some sort so we need to look at what the core issues are and the root issues that are causing people to have a lack of focus and not just you know turn to Adderall or Vyvanse or one of those medications just as a sort of like a simple way to try to resolve a problem that may need a deeper solution. So when it comes to parents, obviously this is very alarming. Uh, they wanna stay on top of their kids. Are there any signs to look out for as a parent uh, that might indicate their, their child is misusing or abusing an opioid or ADHD meds? And what can parents do to kind of make sure their child is protected? Well, anxiety is a huge side effect of these medications. And uh, even though, uh, people are taking these medications to try to focus, uh, they can have a side effect of anxiety. So if you're having insomnia, trouble sleeping, and even trouble focusing and concentrating because maybe you're too jittery, those definitely could be side effects. And of course, if you're having those types of side effects, it may cause problems in your relationships or problems at school. So you wanna look at how am I participating in life and how is that affecting me mentally, emotionally, and physically and, and getting help, you know, accurate help if you need that help um, to see a counselor. Sure. Yeah, it's a problem we're going to be talking about for a while. Uh, Dr. Lisa Palmer, thank you so much for your expertise.
Thanks for having me on the show.